Admiral, can you talk to us about um, how this ship is going to help defend the nation? The, uh, well, I think diversity is, uh, is important within uh, any organization. And uh, Navy has never been a uh, one-size-fits-all uh, force, uh, both in the people uh, and our ships as well. And I think uh, LCS-12, the USS Omaha, uh, represents that. Uh, I think it represents the uh, commitment and understanding that uh, there's an awful lot of missions out there for the Navy to uh, pursue. Uh, we're challenged with a force that we have. Uh, you've heard this uh, from the President, you've heard it from Congress, you've heard it from our Secretary and uh, Chief of Naval Operations, uh, that if we're going to continue to get after uh, the growing challenges that we, we face in the maritime domain, uh, we're going to have to continue to grow the Navy. And uh, Omaha is, uh, is a piece of that. And it's fitting uh, that we commission her here in San Diego. I grew up in San Diego. San Diego's always been a, a Navy town. Uh, and we could not do the things that we do over the horizon if it wasn't for uh, the citizens of Nebraska, the citizens of Omaha, and the citizens of San Diego to support our sailors and their families. So this ship is stationed in San Diego. It's going to be part of the Pacific Fleet. And you mentioned the growing number of threats in the Pacific region. Uh, can you talk about that? So uh, that uh, a large part of uh, reassuring our allies and uh, uh, friends and partners in the region in, in this period of, uh, of uncertainty uh, is presence. You know, we want to be, uh, and they want us to be there in their neighborhood. Uh, so it's, it's a focus of being uh, where it matters, when it matters, with what matters. And this matters in the region. Uh, the LCS class of ships is, uh, is a great fit for our, our allies, partners, and friends. Uh, in many ways, carriers are very important to us uh, as well. You see it in USS uh, Midway uh, right behind us. Uh, I mentioned Carl Vincent right now is, uh, uh, is on uh, a deployment. Uh, in the Pacific, uh, but it's a match. It's making sure that we have the match right across the fleet, and that's why uh, USS Omaha is so important to us. Admiral, uh, Admiral uh, Roden was, was single-handedly, he was a, a key figure in fixing the LCS program. Unfortunately, he can't be here today. What would you want people to know about Admiral Roden's stewardship of this program and how he turned it around? Well, um, I will say this about Navy service is that uh, we're drawn to the friction points. I mean, you see it in, in our, our naval forces, you see it in our sailors. Uh, we're not a garrison force. Uh, we're out on the leading edge of where America's national interests are. Uh, so when we, we bring in a, a new concept, which is really what LCS was, uh, there's a lot of stewardship that's required to bring that concept uh, into the Navy. And uh, Abel Roden was uh, certainly key in that. It was several of the speakers mentioned about how uh, LCS has continued to grow into what it is today. Uh, I think it's safe to say that it will continue to grow and change as the region changes and as we look, learn more about how to fully integrate uh, this, this ship uh, into the fleet. And I think uh, Admiral Roden justifiably should be very proud of the role that he played in making Omaha as we see it today a reality with uh, the uh, weight, volume, cooling, and power capacity to continue to grow. Um, Admiral, you mentioned that um, this is one of the biggest flight decks that you guys have for this type of ship. Uh, can you take us through the loadout and what you guys can land on the, on the ship itself? So uh, a key part of uh, the United States Navy today and into the future is the flexibility of that Navy and the utility of that Navy. Uh, this ship was, was by design and through construction uh, to bring great flexibility and utility, utility to someone like me, like the Pacific Fleet Commander. So whether it's responding to a uh, humanitarian disaster, which is extremely important to us, we talk about the relevancy of the United States in the region, and, and the Navy has a critical role in, in uh, uh, reinforcing that relevancy by being where it matters, when it matters, with what matters. So whether it's humanitarian relief, uh, whether it's combat power, whether it's uh, working with our Marine uh, sister service in projecting power ashore with the volume that this ship uh, uh, contains, uh, with the size of the flight deck, it brings great flex flexibility to multiple missions uh, that we can get after with this one ship. Thank you. All right. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Welcome back. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.